far has been totally dominated by Australia. And 50 overs they amassed 434 for four. That uh, was quite remarkable at a run rate of 8.68. Magnificent performance of Ricky Ponting, 164 of 105 deliveries. And also Michael Hussey, 81 of 51. Okay, here we go. Smith on strike. An enormous total to chase down. And he's got someone about 150 screaming in. Oh, that'll be a, a bit of a help. Big roar from the crowd here. Capacity crowd, 32,000 people. And South Africa open their account. Chopped it on. Lost the wicket early. Nathan Bracken did the business in Durban. And he started by getting dipping out today. A bit of fortune to go with it there. Inside edge. Dippin' are looking to get it down to third man. It's a fairly foolish delivery. And he'll count himself very unlucky on this sort of pitch to get out in that fashion. Well, you know, the Euro out of the Durban innings, he has to leave. But I've gone for one. So that begin now, three for one. They're a wicket down already, South Africa. Three runs on the board. They've lost a dip and our Herschel Gibbs now striding out at number three, as we expected. And uh, he's one of those guys who can tee off from ball one. He's got that sort of ability. And sometimes, in fact, in the one-day game, when he's playing like that, he ends up getting uh, a better total and tends to flow better in his innings rather than just uh, taking a bit of time to consolidate initially. Graham Smith. If they get off, there might be a chance. That's good. That's four. Might be another boundary. Is another boundary. Back-to-back -back boundaries now for Graham Smith. Eight runs off the first two balls. That's away and four. Driving on the up. Inside edge. Not far away from the stumps, and he'll take that. Down the track and just over the top of Michael Clark, and that's four. Gone again, and four more back-to-back -back boundaries for Gibbs. It's a good shot from Herschel Gibbs. He's got that away beautifully, nice and flat for six. Right, so uh, 47 for one. Gibbs on 24 of 25. Smith gets it away. That'll go to the boundary for four as well. Oh, that's uh, a magnificent shot. It's gone through the fingers there of the, shot, the close fieldsman. It was hit so well, it's gone to the boundary for four. 57 for one. That's well played. That's beautifully played. Steered to the boundary for four. Well played. That's the area he loves. Don't pitch it up without a deep mid-wicket. Smith's uh, going well because he'll dispatch it in that area. Could it be? Long way to go, but they've made a very good start. Well, he's got it away. That's four. Take that, short delivery, and it got the treatment it deserved. Oh, well played, that's four. Left-handers, love you to pitch it outside that leg stump without a fine leg. That's well played, it's going down towards the boundary, will it be, oh, it's beautifully stopped. Catch down there, doing really well. So five off this over, and they need a four here. One ball to go, they need to score at nine and over. Oh, good shot, he's hit that one over the top. Bouncing away down to the boundary. Well, he knew exactly what was needed this over. Straight down the ground, and it's beaten him, it's four. Well, there's the boundary for this over. That's seven off the over. Inside edge, four runs. Runs are coming here. Nine runs off the over so far. And still two balls remaining. It's not an inside edge, it's buys. Thin edge. Chases on. The ball is going to win. What a good over this is for South Africa. And it's not finished. Now they're alive. One to one, Smith said no. Now he says yes. 
Listen to the crowd. One hundred and ten for one. Twenty-five runs ahead at this stage, South Africa. Fifty for Gibbs. Just forty-six deliveries. Good entertainment. Well played, Ursula Gibbs. Brilliant. Muscled to bring up 50. Well played, Graham Smith. That's a fine reply. And a deserving applause from his home crowd. A bit of flight from Simons, not scared to toss it up. Ball looks worse for wear. Good shot. That's four. Yeah, that's what they need to do. There's no doubt they have to get a boundary over over here. But played four runs. Very good placement. And timing. He didn't hit it too hard, didn't try to overhit it. Once he'd found the gap. It's a full toss. He's edged it and he's got himself another boundary. Goodness me, this is quite remarkable. Nine runs from the over, still one ball remaining. Not good bowling for Mick Lewis, it's got to be said. And Smith is uh, going like a train. Four runs, beautifully played. That is a very good shot indeed. That's what they need to do. It's a situation where... A few balls are bowled, the pressure builds up, they need a boundary, they look for it and they get it. Well played, 145 for one. It's a good shot. One bounce, four. Open the blade perfectly, Herschel Gibbs. He didn't move, he knew that was going. That's a fine stroke. So Graham Smith at the moment, 70 off 45 balls. The fastest 100 for South Africa is Herschel Gibbs, 84 deliveries. the first ball of the over. Wow, it is raining runs. He's hit that beautifully and that's gone. A long way back for half a dozen. Not five rows, not ten, not twenty. More than that. Almost right out the ground. There he goes again. And he's too big a man not to get it out of the park. Graham Smith is going to play an innings which will be equal to Ricky Ponting's. 85 or 50 deliveries. Here we go. I think it's fast in your seatbelts, Tom. Yes, it sure is. It's such a great pitch. You can hit through it with all confidence. And up here on the high felt, the ball travels a long way. And after shots like that, there certainly will be another one out the park. I don't know what the record number of sixes is in a one-day game, but this will be pretty close. 190 for one. Well, Barry Richards would have been proud of this shot. Down the track, over middle, in the extra cover region. There's been a couple of great shots played yet today. And this will go down as one of the best. turning point look at the delight on Michael Clark's face and more importantly Michael Hussey's he really thinks that might be a big wicket and it certainly might be just not getting onto it Graham Smith and he's gone unlucky well, I think this was what that debate was about Clark going around the wicket asking Smith to come and fetch it outside all stump Smith favors the leg side this time though not quite getting all of it dragging it straight to that man well the captain hasn't stood back not the greatest day in the field, but superb with the bat. So there we go, 190 for two. Maybe De Villiers out there.
with a real license to play shots. In the air and out the park. What a response after a wicket. And they crossed, so uh, Gibbs facing, he goes to 90. Looking at the toe of his bat, that's how good the bats are today. There he goes, the power play got him up. I'm gonna go over the top. Enough of this, he says. Well, Ursula Gibbs isn't gonna change his game. There it is. Just one, 16. ODI hundreds for Herschel Gibbs, but his job's not over yet. It's far from over, but for now, they're going to celebrate with him. A superb innings. When it's needed most by his side, he's come to the party. Look at that, 79 balls, a brilliant strike rate. And isn't it good to see Herschel Gibbs in form? There we go, Gibbs again. He's fancying the straight boundary. He's fancying these Australian bowlers at that sort of pace. They're going to pitch it up. He's going over the top. There he goes again. More runs. Stand and deliver. That's a home run over third base. Like that. More runs. Gilchrist has got to stand up to the stumps. He will not do it and his bowlers have paid the penalty. He's got to get up because they're using the, their feet to get out there. They're creating a different length. They've got to pull them back. Look where Herschel Gibbs is. He's right out of his crease. Don't know what they're doing. They're not thinking clearly, the Aussies. And you can understand why. There's pressure from the South African batsman. There he goes again. He's selected his area and that's on the offside. As much as Ricky Ponting puts it through mid-wicket, so Herschel Gibbs puts it through cover. Here we go again. That's the arrow he said he was going for. You can't protect it up in the ring because he just goes up and over. You've got to make sure that it's in the block hole, otherwise you pay big time. And the pressure's just getting to them right on a length. Clear the left leg, squirt it over the top. Even if it doesn't hit the middle, it's going to go over the top. Always square. And that's down to third man. That's four more. What an over this has been. 242 for two. In the air, and he, oh, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. Oh, could he have dropped the trophy? Is it the case of this time it's the other way around? Could Bracken have dropped the cup, so to speak? Listen to the cheers in the background. Well, full toss miss hit straight to him as easy as you can get in these kind of games. If you were Gibbs, you'd have to walk down and say it to him, wouldn't you? You better believe it. <laughs> You'd have to have gone down there and said it to him. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Straight down the ground. And that seriously relieves the pressure. 2.53 for two. Oh, good shot. Very good shot. He gave him a bit of room there. Take that. There we go. It's the way on the onside. Will it beat the field? Yes, it has. That's four as well. Martin diving away. Didn't quite get there. Oh, he's hit that one beautifully. One bounce, I think, for four. Superb shot. Over cover. That's, the one. That's exactly what he's got to do. Stay put on leg stump or middle of the leg. If it's out there, pick his gap. Hit it over the head of the infielder. And again, oh, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone way, way up. A huge six. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> well, when luck's on your side, ride it. Oh boy, what a shot. Perhaps it wasn't the message. <laughs> that's an unbelievable shot. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
No, oh, he's hit that. It's in the air. This is going to be caught. Will it be caught? Yes, he's gone. That's the end of De Villiers going for the big one. I think it's the right bloke to be going for them. De Villiers going for the big one at mid on. And uh, again, nicely taken on the boundary. Never easy when the rope is nearby. No, not at all. He just didn't get hold of it. Went too high. He did well. Steady himself and then just had a look to see he was inside the clock. It's good. But uh, Nathan Bracken gets a wicket. So De Villiers goes for 14. 284 for three. Callis, a man of immense experience, 231 matches. Have a look at all those runs, an average of 44. That's in the air, and there's a fieldsman down there, but it's gone all the way. Well, there's no doubt that uh, what you're saying is the way he's going to play it. I'm still not sure that it's the right way to go, though. Well, you just keep watching, <laughs> and he'll keep middling it, hopefully. That's one heck of a shot. Well, that six makes it the most sixes in any one-day international ever. Right. Simons to him again. And again. Oh, that's a bigger six. That was a rank full toss. It's a question of help yourself at the moment. Yeah, the buffet ball. This has got out of hand now for Ricky Ponting. You look around the ground. But that shot, well, I reckon a couple of Taylor has got hit that. In the air, and that's it. Well, I'm afraid to say that section of the party has come to an end. He's hit two sixes. He did what you thought he would do. He did. Uh, I really think that he should have. Uh, he should have hung in there a little bit. However, that doesn't detract from one of the great innings of all time. He's wandering off this ground, having been caught by Lee off the bowling of Simons for 175. That was a superb performance. Well played, Hershey. As good as innings as anyone has seen here. He goes for 175. And 299 for four now into that famous tunnel. 733 runs. In fact, 734 runs now have been scored as South Africa bring up their 300. And just eight wickets have fallen. Squeezed yeah, away. Squeezed it away. Sorry, Michael. We're all getting excited in the box here. <laughs> we just can't, can't get enough of these boundaries. Every time we look up, the ball's disappearing. Catch. Yeah! Great catch. Brilliant catch. Andrew Simons is an outstanding fielder. Effortless and taking that return catch, the end of Callis. Yeah, very good catch. He was ready for it because he's throwing the ball up. He knows there's every chance the batsman won't uh, be able to get right to the pitch of it. A lot slower, Jacques Callis looking to go over the top. And Andrew Simons has snaffled it. And that uh, brings it back to an even keel. Jacques Callis, the number one batsman in the world. He's gone. 327 for five. The game's on. Big round of applause now for Justin Kemp. He has a reputation, Kemp. This is uh, just about the time he likes to come out and bat and likes to hit the ball straight, high and long. It's in the air and it's going to go to the boundary for four. They needed that desperately. It's been a while. In the air, out. Got him. Big wicket. Kemp has chopped it straight to backward point. A slowish, really cutter comes spinner from uh, the left-handed Bracken. And he's got his man. The real danger at this stage, uh, that certainly be some that would say was Kemp. But uh, it's not going to be. This is the wicket again. Yeah, this is good bowling from Bracken. Kemp eyeing out that extra cover region. And in the end, only spooning it. The lack of pace being his undoing. And that is well taken as well by uh, Damien Martin. At backward point. 3.55 now for six. Straight down the ground. That's going for six. That's gone. Yes. That's gone for six. That relieves the pressure a little bit and doubles the pressure on the bowler. Oh, he's hit that one magnificently. What a shot. It's gone all the way for six. Shot all the way into the crowd. An unbelievable.
Unbelievable straight six. Well, I think the Aussies thought just for a little while there that uh, certainly with Bracken they've got him nailed. But the man in your picture now, Fanavad, has come out and you don't get better straight hits than that one. Brilliant shot. Yeah, no, they've, South Africa got this, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, he's got him, he's got him. Perhaps that's not the case. A flat bat from Fanavad has gone to Ponting, who's been off the ground getting some attention to his finger, and he's caught a little rocket. It's come at him like a bullet. He's got beautifully into position, taken the catch, and, uh, well, that might alter it. It'll certainly put the skids under the South Africans just a little bit. Yeah, this is a great catch. I can tell you about many fielders. This sort of situation won't want the ball anywhere near them. Not Ricky Ponting. That's a good pressure catch. And that is a fine little innings. Jan van der Vaart, the crowd appreciate it. 35 of 18. 399 now for seven. A roar goes up as Telemachus strides onto the ground. They weren't exactly roaring when he was bowling. In the air. Oh, just over Ponting's head. Very nearly two in the row for Ponting. In goes the throw down the far end and uh, they back for two. 400. Listen to the roar. Unbelievable. Australia make 434 and break the world record. And here yeah, South Africa are looking poised to top it. Sweep shot. Four. Great shot. Wonderful shot. Well, he's obviously decided whatever that was, he was going to sweep it. Lewis smashed away to mid-wicket. It's going to go for four. Yes, it's hit the boundary. Boucher is playing an unbelievable knot. He's done this so often. Works it away on the onside. It's another four. Bracken's chasing. He won't get there. He's hit it, he's hit it like a rocket. What a shot. Boy, is he strong. It's gone for four to extra cover. It's in the air. This has got to be out, surely. No, it's going to be short. Oh, it's a great catch. Wonderfully taken. Well, Hussey is an unbelievable fieldsman. He has taken that beautifully. He had a come in miles. It's the very thing the South Africans didn't want to see happen was a wicket to go down because now they get into a situation where there's just a possibility they'll get bowled out. Look at Hussey go. Inches off the ground. Brilliantly taken. Well, what a game. Four twenty-three, four eight. Yeah, well, one of them is Andrew Hall coming out. That's where you want to make sure they get in the nets and have their fair share. <laughs> Here he goes. What can Andrew Hall do? Oh, it's a great shot. He's got it away for four. Over the top of Longham, down to the boundary for four. Now South Africa should definitely win. What a brilliant day's cricket, we keep saying it. We'll have to watch this many, many times over. Man for the pressure situation. Stoll, he's picked his gap. And now Ponting's got no option but to bring those fielders in. He's got to take the gamble. He's got to ask Hall to try and do that again. Surely, the two to win. It's a matter of bat on ball, run hard. And that should be enough. Who would ever have thought that Australia would lose a match? Defending 434. And Boucher, he's down the wicket to have a chat to Hall. Let's maybe for a moment consider that idea. Now who's the chokers? <laughs> well, I think it's fair enough. They'll be looking for one. I'm sure that's what Boucher said. Block and run. Oh, he's out a go. He's out. Oh, he's out. That's the last thing they wanted. He's out. This match is not over yet. There's a little bit of a twist here. There's no way in the world that they could have crossed in time. So the last batsman in is going to have to face the music here. And so there is still a chance that the Australians could sneak in. Here's the shot. He didn't 
I'm sure that wasn't the plan. The plan was surely a single. It had to be. It had to be a question of just getting better onto it. Maybe as it left the hand, Hall thought, "Well, that's in the slot. Maybe I can get away with it." 4:33 for nine. Well, McIntyre now has to have the uh, discussion with Mark Boucher, and it's still with three balls to go. I, I feel certain that uh, a, a single is what's required. Just get something behind it. There's the dismissal again. Straight to Madon, taken by Clark. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's the reaction. Well, well you think you know, the single secures you the top. Then you got two balls to try and win it. One secures the tie for South Africa. Well, Makai and Tini, he never dies wondering. This will be surely one of the biggest moments of his whole cricketing career. Right, well, two to get, three balls, one for a tie. So they've got to secure the tie and then win after that. So they've got to go for a single here. Oh, he's got a single. He's got it to third man. Right, now then. They need one of two balls. South Africa cannot lose. They have tied the match right here. Now it's a question of winning it. The biggest shot in Mackay and Tinney's life. The little nudge down in third man for one. And they deserve that. What a brilliant performance. OK, Mark Boucher, he deserves this moment of glory. It's been a great knock under pressure. You've got to say, Tony, you've got to back him to pull it off. Yeah, well, he doesn't, he doesn't want to go and do anything silly. I mean, all he needs is a single here. Uh, they don't want to run out. Straight down the ground. What a victory. That is a sensational game of cricket. And it is a superb victory. Well, I've been around the world watching this game. Look at tears. They are crying out there. The South Africans are charging out onto the, onto the ground. Gilchrist shakes hands with Boucher. Ntini's on a high. Ponting cannot believe this has happened to his team. The South Africans at the bull ring today have seen the best one day international ever played. Well, we won't question Tony Craig. He's seen many. And what a great result here for South Africa. Mackay and Tini gave Boucher the strike, and that's been a long time coming. So much said of late about the South African side under pressure. They backed themselves, they had no choice but to go for it. And they pulled off one of the great victories of all time. And they deserve that celebration, but all credit to both sides. It's been a fantastic, fantastic watch, uh, match to watch. And as uh, the summary, well there it is, they scored 434, batting first, having won the toss and they actually lost the match. South Africa fought back right down to the wire. Second last ball, the match was won.